There we go. And now I'm launching onto my island, the Savage Kingdom. It's got a nice overhead shot here so we can see all the lava and uh, some of the intricacies of the outside of my castle. Uh-oh, what's going on over here? Looks like my internet's lagging. There we go. Come on, internet. That's a lot of cops. I wonder why they're here. There's a truck in the volcano lava. And it's filled with mailboxes that are on fire. And lots of mailboxes are littered around. Kind of introducing the plot of the island, showing you that whoever lives in this castle like, cannot really necessarily be trusted. Why else would there be police outside? But before we go in here, I'm going to go to the outer castle, which is basically an open battle area with parkour tracks. So you go up the track here, and then we go down over here. Oh, there are steps that go down. I just, uh, fell as it happens. See, let's try that again. I go down the track right Yeah, I swear it was the internet, I don't know. And here's our first chest with the mermaid. Hello. Now I'm gonna go back outside. Yeah, my internet's really laggy right now. Sorry about that. Okay, here's the giant volcano. And then the front exterior of the castle. Let's start from the basement where we have a dance club. And there's my username right there, picklevic86. We got some cool graffiti. We got some music. We have another chest. Let's pick up some stuff. There's another chest right here. Okay. So I'll continue the tour of my castle. There you go, that's another secret room where we can um, have battles and whatnot. So here is a loot container. Now there aren't steps that go directly up from the basement, however, you know, I was assuming players could build stairs, as is typical in the game. Now, at the front entrance, you have two different doors to choose from. Each door leads to a separate area of the castle. It's kind of sectioned off. So if you go to the left side, it's where you see some of the um, interesting stuff. Over here is the shady secret room, which isn't really that much of a secret because it has a door, but it does have a special secret in here which I accidentally demolished the last time I was in here and forgot to put back. So let's try that again. Let's pretend that that was there. Okay. Take two. All right. So we're in the castle. We chose door number one. We're walking right in here. It looks like a really strange kind of room. Lots more graffiti in here. But we hear a chest. But there's bookshelves here. But wait, is that a little... Can we... All right, let's, try, let's give it a shot. Oh my goodness, it's a secret door. And another mermaid, maybe that means more treasure, question mark? Let's take the loot. And here we have a ton of what looks like uh, something really shady. A lot of cash registers in a pile. Never seen a lot of cash registers in a pile like that before. Over here we have an interesting little studio apartment. It's quaint, it's cozy. An open cash register next to the bed implies that whomever lives here must be out on a shopping spree. And he has a mailbox. Again, the mailbox connection. So let's go back out here. Let's leave through the graffiti door. We look this way, we have a set of stairs here. But first I'm gonna to stick to the first floor only. Sorry about that, I'm glitching again. Here is the king's throne. Pretty typical um, kingdom-ish kind of stuff here, castle-y stuff. More stairs, there's stairs um, leading to the second floor, but we're gonna go through the main staircase. Now I am at the base of the main stairwell. 
I'm going to head up, but I hear another chest with a floating door. After what we experienced from the first floor in the secret chest, that could only mean that there's another secret chest and possibly another secret area of the castle, which is what this is. So the secret castle is all of the areas that aren't really directly, you know, a part of the map of the, in the, of the main castle. So now we are here in this lovely room here with nice high ceilings and an indoor pool. I'm going to jump in there, say hello to the fish. Let's jump back out. Let's go back outside here. We have a nice little patio. Let's fly back up. There are, in addition to stairs that go all the way up through the house, which I did not show all of them. I just showed a couple of them. Um, there are, because there's a lot of different options and combinations that you can use to, you know, go throughout the castle, you know, when you're looking through all the little secret entries and secret castle areas and whatnot. So there's also a large set of stairs on the back of the castle that allows you to make it all the way up to the top here. So we have a lower balcony, which leads to the area where the pool is. There, see the raised ceiling right there in that building. If you go in here, there's another smaller building where you can actually see, well, it's not a separate building, it's the same building, but you have a nice view of the throne from here. And that's um, another bedroom. This bedroom is actually connected to the area with the pool. So you can see where the main staircase is and the castle, the main castle, it's like in the center of it. A nice centralized location, keeps it organized. Organization was important when designing this because I was, you know, creating a castle within a castle. So it needs to have at the very least, you know, a main set of stairs that lead from the bottom to the top. Okay, and here is the very top floor where there are some books and I uh, thought that could be a nice uh, battle area. I think we got them all. There's a chest in here. There's the two downstairs in the basement. Um, there's the ones in the secret room. And uh, I think that sums it up. So thank you for watching. I am PickleVic86. This is the first Fortnite video I have ever made. Can you tell? Thanks for watching. Bye.